Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another Gentleman's Corner. And today I have a special guest. I have Mr. Claymores. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on your show. Uh, thank you for, for spending some time to do this or taking some time to do this. Um, now, for any of my subscribers who don't know, uh, I've, I've, I met Claymores a little while ago. Actually, I think um, it was about two months ago, maybe three months ago, and I started just watching some of your videos, the like the camper cams and stuff like that. Um, and I really enjoy... I don't know what it is. I really enjoy watching people humiliate like boosters and campers and stuff like that. So and I really, I, I really like humiliating them. So that <laughs> works out good. Now I, I kind of start off with one question that I ask everybody. The first question is, who or what inspired you to YouTube and why? You know what's funny is I heard you say the same thing in one of your videos. I think it was in uh, Azazel when he turned the tables and interviewed you. Right. Um, and you said Hutch. I, I wouldn't say Hutch inspired me, but I had no clue that there were Call of Duty videos on YouTube until I ran across his, and he he was doing montages, and I thought, oh man, that's really cool. And I was playing uh, Modern Warfare 2 at the time, just gotten into it, and I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna go home and snipe like that. And no, I could not, I could not <laughs> snipe like that. I still can't snipe like that. So, so one thing led to another. I started watching more and more videos, and um, then I came across uh, El Presador, and I would say he was what really got me interested in making videos for, for YouTube because I liked his sense of humor and I'm like, you know, I can do that. Right. Um, who do you think, who do you think right now out of, let's say, the old YouTubers, you know, like the ones that have been around for a few years, who do you think is still relevant? Who do you think is kind of starting to fall off the edge of the uh, edge of the pier, so to speak? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, well, judging by what I've seen, El Presador is still up there. I think last time I checked, and I don't check it all the time, he's got over 200,000 subs. Um, Chris Move is up there, although he doesn't play Call of Duty anymore, from what I can tell. Um, Thunder, Thunder is still doing well. Um, Thunderstruck. And you know what? I've started a oh, Wicked Shrapnel. Uh, I like his stuff as well. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I don't necessarily watch a ton of big YouTubers. I I kind of watch uh, up-and-coming guys, and um, I, I, I've come across some other new ones that I really enjoy here recently. I try to keep it fresh. Sure. Do you um, do you think that the Call of Duty era, in terms of YouTube and Call of Duty, is coming to an end, or do you think that it's in a change? What What are your feelings or thoughts on that? I, I don't think it's going to come to an end, but I just think this YouTube market of commentating and you know gameplay is just so so oversaturated. I mean, everyone it seems like has a capture card, and you know more and more you know kids today they're learning how to make videos in elementary school, so they can do it at home. You know, they, it's it's so easy for people to make videos and put them up up there, but it's really hard to stand out these days. So as far as Call of Duty goes, I don't think it's ever going to die um, unless they really, really just kill themselves. But I, I think there's always going to be a market for that. It, I mean, even the big YouTubers, from what I can tell, they, they will act like they want to stir away from Call of Duty, but they keep coming back because that seems to be what gets the most views as a whole, I think. Right. So, mo I mean, most of your videos are Call of Duty's Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Ghost. Do you, are there other games that you play as well, or are you mainly or, or mostly a first-person shooter? I know I've seen on your channel a few um, GTA videos and stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah, I mostly play Call of Duty. I, I play nothing but Ghost right now. I, I've, I've seen people go couldn't couldn't take it, went back to Black Ops 2. I just don't have the desire to do that at all. Um, I, I may do it just to see if I can find some boosters in there, and I like the fact that it's got theater mode, which right. I, I really, really relied on when I did my camper cams. But um, I, I played Minecraft. I, I thought, you know what, I'm going to branch out, do some Minecraft. And I got so bored with that, man. I can't just dig, 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 put a block. Oh, my God. I, I don't see <laughs> You know, I uh, hey, thumbs up to those people that can do that and, and make a successful YouTube channel out of it. Um, but I just can't do that. Did you play on? Did you play on PC or an Xbox? Everything I do is on Xbox. I have a Mac, and Macs aren't really geared toward gaming at all. Sure. So. I will. I will say this. I have a couple of friends who had Xboxes who are trying to. They're like, I don't understand what you see in Minecraft. And when I got them to play on computer, whether it's PC or Mac, it because of the customization capabilities in that game on PC, there's a lot that you can do. Um, 
So I don't know if you haven't checked it out on on PC or on a Mac. It there's there's quite a bit of a difference. Some people just don't get into that kind of like Lego build your own stuff type thing. Yeah. And that I can understand. Um, but what? I'm sorry. I was gonna, no, I was gonna say my kids do or my kids want to. I try to steer my I try to steer them steer them away from it because I watch their faces when they do it and they're just like zombies. I'm like, oh god, <laughs> gotta get them away. Gotta gotta get them out of there. Yeah, my my daughters are both super addicted to Minecraft, so I don't even I'm not even sure exactly the reason why. I mean, like they have Legos and they're like, no, nah, don't want to do it in real life. I'll just do it on the computer. Yeah, exactly. Um, in in terms of your your channel, do you have any any big ideas or big plans in terms of what you want to do for this year? Well, that that's something I'm looking at right now, uh, especially with Titanfall coming out. Um, I think that's going to be huge initially. Uh, it's just something so new, so fresh. It's got so much great buzz around it, and I'm like, man, I got to tap into that. And and I want to play it as well. But I'm like, how am I going to parlay that into something I make videos about? Because I'm just an average game player. Um, I have some good games. I have some bad games. I don't think people are ever going to tune into my channel to watch me beast. And you know, I've never had a nuke. I've never had a Moab. I've never had a chem strike other than the ones I've stolen from care packages. So. People are never going to tune to me for that, and I don't think I think that would be the same case in Titanfall. I don't think they're going to watch me for that as, in terms of gameplay. And I'm not a tips and tricks guy, nor do I want to study up and know what every gun does. And I mean, you know, in Call of Duty, I'm pretty much used to honey badger. That's it. Right. I, can't, I can probably name three guns in the whole series. That's how bad I am, but I enjoy it. That's what I do best with. But back to your question. I want to get into Titanfall. In fact, I've created a, I have a new YouTube channel, a new email, and a new gamer tag, and I'm going to break it out to the public right here, right now. It's Mr. Titanfall, <laughs> and I may do nothing with it, but I said, you know what? I'm going to reserve the name on YouTube, an email, Twitter and a gamer tag just in case i want to do something with it but at the same time i don't want to draw away from my main channel right so right that's the problem there so the kind of to bring up a couple of things here one there's a lot of the like the hate slash drama right now towards call of duty goes saying oh the maps are too big there's too much clutter in the maps it's not fun there's too much verticality in some of the maps and in titanfall it looks like, from what I've seen, because I've seen some gameplay, the hidden, unlisted gameplay stuff, you know, some live streams that weren't supposed to go live. It looks like some of the maps are pretty big. It looks like uh, there's a lot of verticality, and it looks like there's a lot of clutter on the maps. Um, I don't think, personally, I don't think that Respawn is trying to even grab the audience that is the quick action, uh, gun kills, gun kills, you know, kill streaks that market i don't think they're trying to grab that market but everybody's saying that it's going to be a cod killer what are your what are your thoughts on that i don't think so i, I think it's too different i mean yes it'll probably get most of us to i mean it, it may kill ghosts but i think by the time whatever next comes out this year in the fall mm -hmm. um i think people will be maybe getting a little tired of i mean that's just how we are you know our attention spans just after a while that's why I'm probably going to get this uh, DLC uh, for Ghost. I, I, I will at least get this very first one because I want to uh, play the Michael Myers character. But um, I think by the fall, I really think Call of Duty will make another comeback. And it may not be what they've had in the past, but I still think, unless they really blow it, uh, I, I still think people are going to want to play just a different game by that time of the year. I mean, that's going to be a lot of months between the release of Titanfall and that. And right. Uh, I can't half, half a year, a little bit more than half a year. Yeah, and I, I can't keep my. That's why I don't want to go back to Black Ops Two or or any other ones. I, I just I just never do that. Now that's just me. There may be some people that play Titanfall until it, you know until the next one comes out. I don't know, but right. I, I mean, I guess there's still people playing COD Four. I don't know how, but. I never played COD 4. I, Neither did I. I, I, never, I started on Modern Warfare 2. I got a copy for like four bucks from somebody, and I've played like three games. <laughs> it's it's just old. It looks old. So Yeah. Um, well, so, so you have this new gamer tag that you have in the new channel. What about your old gamer tag? How did you, how did you come up with Claymores? Was there a particular... Uh, I had another one, and I got rid of that, and I said, I think I, I think I came up with this one when I started, when I wanted to make my YouTube channel. 
and <laughs> the one I the one I wanted, but ironically enough, it was taken. And this is kind of tacky, but it was going to be major hard on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was already taken, so I couldn't take that one. And uh, I try to keep most of my stuff somewhat kid friendly because I have two kids. But um, <laughs> I don't know. I just came up with Claymores, and um, actually, someone had that name because I spell Moors with a zero and not an O. So mm -hmm. someone has Claymores out there. And uh, that's that's how I did it. I just, you know, I used Claymores in the game at the time and I said, hey, I'm gonna call myself Clay. You know, everybody calls me Clay, so I'm gonna call myself Claymores. That's cool, all right. All right, well, we've been uh, we've been on here for quite some time. I know that uh, it's, you know, getting kind of late, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. I, I do appreciate you taking, you know, some time out of your day to record this with me. And uh, any of the gameplay that anybody's watching in the background is all Claymores gameplay. And uh, I highly suggest everybody go and subscribe to his channel, follow him on Twitter. Um, he also streams on Twitch, so follow him on Twitch as well. And uh, I, again, I just want to thank you for, for spending some time here with me on The Gentleman's Corner. That was awesome, man. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. Bye. All right. should be good.